Hey everybody, it is Saturday, February 19th, and it is time for yet another set of Marvel Legendary Viewer Challenges. Happy to see you here. They're going to be a couple of interesting, fun ones today, so I'm glad you are here. The first one is going to be by Micro Disney 0505. The second one is going to be by Avatar Ish, who's in the chat here. So this is going to be fun. Welcome, welcome. If you've never seen one of my viewer challenges before, it's pretty simple. I have a form online, challenges.bakeoutsofgames.com. You can submit any legendary challenge you want. Whenever I do one of these challenges, uh, challenge streams, I pick a couple, one or two that look interesting to me, and I play them. That's as simple as it gets. So I picked a couple that I really liked, and that's what we're going to do today. So let's go. Starting with the first one. Let me get my document open. This first one is by Micro Disney 0505. I don't know if Micro Disney is here yet, but the setup is called Alternate Versions of Gene and Scott Try to Ruin Their Wedding. All right, I think it's pretty interesting. Let me go ahead and uh, read the synopsis here before I show you the setup. Mr. Sinister doesn't believe that this version of Gene and Scott should be together, so he has traveled the multiverse to get other Genes and Scots that feel the same to stop the wedding. Gene and Scott from the Legendary Universe have teamed up with other X-Men to save the wedding. So here is the setup today, and it is uploaded. So we've got Mr. Sinister ruining the perfect wedding, of course, as our masterminded scheme. Our heroes, I'll jump over there, are Cyclops, Jean Grey, Mirage, Beast, and Magic. And then as far as the uh, couple getting married, it's Phoenix Force, Cyclops, and time-traveling Jean Grey. And don't worry, I'll put the predictions up in a second. We've got the Marauders as one of the villain groups. Sentinels as a henchman group, and then the second villain group is a custom group that Micro Disney put together called Gene and Scott, with uh, eight villainous cards from across Legendary that are all versions of Scott Summers and Gene Grey. So that should be pretty interesting. Now that you've seen the setup, let me go ahead and start a prediction. You can wager some channel points if you want. Am I going to win this game, or am I going to lose or draw this game? You get another chance to uh, get some points back if you don't do so well on this one with my second setup. So keep that in mind. That is not the name of the setup, Hibernicus, <laughs> but I guess it could have been. All right. By the way. Looks winnable. Yeah, I could see it. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We got a bunch of streams next week. Tuesday MCU, Thursday Randomizer, and then the next Saturday is the Viewers Play Unique versus Variance game, which will be a lot of fun. That's where two teams of viewers get to actually play against the mastermind trying to beat the mastermind but also trying to one-up the other and get more points i'm going to be revealing the setup slowly over the course of next week another bit of information that i have for you guys is kind of exciting is that the marvel legendary campaign the choose your own adventure campaign is basically in the playtesting phase now we're looking for a couple more playtesters so please go check out the no spoilers channel in the discord if you're interested in playtesting that we'll take a couple more people and once all the all the uh all the, all the issues are ironed out and everything is smooth there, we can release it. It's been a long time coming, so I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, let me go ahead and get everything shuffled up. I've already got everything shuffled, actually. I'm just going to give everything a courtesy, courtesy shuffle and a deck cut, just to be clear. I haven't had many people submit setups where they mix and match heroes, villains from other groups. This is the first one I'm playing. So we'll see. Yeah, you can still predict, even if that's going to be tough. All right, I'll cut the hero deck here. And uh, let me get the villain deck ready. <laughs> I don't know. Wolverine's not here today, man. No idea. Okay, that should be uploaded. Oop, that's the wrong setup. Uh, it should be uploaded, so it should be good there. Okay, starting hands are ready. Uh, as far, uh, let's do the mastermind and scheme overview. Give you some more time to predict. All right, the mastermind is Mr. Sinister. He gets plus one attack for each bystander he has, of course. Always leads the Marauders Master Strike. Mr. Sinister captures a bystander. Then each player with exactly six cards reveals a covert hero or discards cards equal to the number of bystanders Mr. Sinister has. So I'm only going to keep track of bystanders on Mr. Sinister with a die for attack because uh, that's. The only attack he's going to get, I believe. And um, then we can use that number to uh, figure out the Master Strike effect. 
Our scheme today is Ruin the Perfect Wedding, one of the one of my favorite new schemes from the last couple of years. Alright, 11 twists, set aside two extra heroes to get married, those stacks are right here. Premier each uh, wedding hero into a separate 14 card stack ordered by cost, with the lowest cost on top. They're going to be off screen, but I'll keep track of them in a couple of ways first to have the tracker down here, which I'll update uh, right now. Okay, twist one, put one wedding hero stack above the rightmost city space at the altar, gain its top card. Twist 2, put the other wedding hero stack above the mastermind space at the door, gain its top card. Twist 3 to 7, gain the top card of either wedding hero stack, then KO 2 cards from the top of the wedding hero stack that has a villain or mastermind in the space immediately below it. Then the leftmost hero stack walks down the aisle, moving one space to the right. Twist 8 to 11, KO 2 cards from the top of each wedding hero stack. Evil wins when either wedding hero stack is KO'd. Scary stuff if you don't let it, uh, if you don't get it under control. I'm going to be using um, my two icons I used for the draft. So we got uh, Jean Grey and Cyclops here to represent them as tokens. Because, you know, you can't really see the decks. So we'll take care of that when we get there. Alright, make sure you got your predictions in. I'm about to end them. Because I have to play the game. And reveal the HQ to do so. We've got our Hydra cards on the right, Shield cards on the left, as usual. Let's see... How the predictions look? It's looking like, ooh, it's a 7 to 1 say win with a 97% point value towards win. Wow. You guys really think I'm going to win this. I really hope I don't let you down. Alright, ending submissions in just a few seconds. Last chance to get those in before we go for the game. Ending submissions. If you didn't get your submission in, you'll have another chance when I play my second game after this. Alright, let's see who's in the HQ. Give me something good, please. Okay, we've got Jean Grey. Beast, more Beast, more Beast, and Magic. Okay, three Beast cards, Jean Grey, and Magic. And, uh, again, I don't see Micro Disney here, but uh, Micro didn't mention anything about restricting certain bystanders, sidekicks, wounds, or anything, so I'm using everything. <laughs> Are you at zero points? Well, we'll see. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can prevent the wedding guests from other timelines from stopping their own wedding uh, right now. Okay, starting with the rare elusive reverse 4 and 2. Maybe there's something that'll come out that I can fight. Uh, nope. I even cut the deck and I still got a scheme twist first. In my defense, there's 11 twists in this thing, so I don't feel so bad about that. It's a good, it's like a good third of the villain deck. All right, here we go. Twist one, put one wedding stack, hero stack above the rightmost city space at the altar, and gain its top card. So we're gonna go ahead and put Cyclops above the sewers there. That's where the wedding stack is, so you can see it. I would love, you know what? I'm gonna ask you guys during one of these randomizer league weeks to tell me what's the first card you played, and we'll see how many people get to get twist. I'm just generally curious. Okay, gain its top card top card of the Cyclops, the uh, Phoenix Force Cyclops stack is Reincarnate. KO this card, gain a hero from the Shield Officer stack, or HQ that costs 4 or less and put it in your hand. This is gained on the left hand side, just like that. Alright. <laughs> speed, uh, re wedding speed run. Yeah, uh, did that correctly? Okay, we're good. Yeah, if this game happen ends quickly, I can spend a lot of time on the second one. If somebody has absolutely no time, or no, no time, a lot of time, nothing to do, you can go watch all of my streams and do a percentage of how often I've drawn a twist in the first. You got 150 videos to look through, so good luck on that one. All right. Four attack. Can't fight anything for four. To recruit, the only thing I can take is a sidekick or beast, and I do have a two-cost beast. So if I go with this beast, I'm going to want to take tech on this side too. And because I have two recruit in this hand, and all four troopers, my next hand on the left is going to have six recruit, which means I can take Calculated Rage. And with Berserk, I can try to get more cards to give me attack. <laughs> yeah, I figured as much. The problem is I already have Reincarnate, which doesn't work with Berserk. Wow, I didn't know I played 200% of my games. I played twice as many as I thought. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take Captivating Conundrum because something's got to happen with these cards. I will KO Reincarnate, so that shouldn't be an issue. And more magic. Alright. 
If I can do a sidekicky bystandery stack on stack on the right, uh, I can probably avoid a lot of these evil versions of Scott and G well, maybe not evil. All right, we have the traditional four and two on the right. Different fours and twos. Okay, bystander. So unfortunately for me, Mr. Sinister gets a bystander just by drawing it from the villain deck, which powers him up, which is really unfortunate all right off the bat. So he's going to get plus one attack. He's at nine, which means uh, the thing. <laughs> when we get a master strike. That was one of the worst ways for him to get a bystander, just straight up drawing it. But what are you going to do? Okay, four recruit. Yeah, Bernie, because that seems like a, a solid framework for a plan here. Four recruit is going to get me both magics if I want. Let's take a look. So magics, rally the new mutants card, gain a sidekick, covert gain another sidekick. If I get both of these, I can get a ton of sidekicks. I do have all the special sidekicks in here. And yeah, that seems like a plan. So let's go ahead and take the first rally the new mutants right here. First rally the new mutants for two. Let's see what comes up. Ooh, we got a beast for the other side. And the second one. We are rallying new mutants big time. And it's kind of funny. This card actually has relevance now because we actually get... I guess they're young mutants, not new mutants. But um, we are actually we might actually get some young mutants with this card for, for the first time. Thanks to Messiah Complex. By the way, if you like the customs I use and you want better ones, because mine are okay. There's even better ones now for the core set, like a Cyclops here. Go check out the custom cards channel in the Discord. You'll see a, p a pinned link to Dre 2.0's revamped core set, and it's great. I would check it out if I were you. Okay, turn three gives us. There it is, second one. Left side really wants to speed run this wedding, like you said. All right, twist two. Put the other wedding hero stack above the mastermind space at the door. Gained his top card, so Gene Gray is right here. Time traveling Gene Gray at the door. Same deck gets the top card of that side, which is going to be throw over the railing, time traveling Jean Grey. Covert, which would have been better on the other side. Covert, choose a villain on the rooftops or bridge, gets minus two attack this turn. I just guess I'll have to deal with this. Okay. Uh, I gotta be careful because the later twists are gonna start KOing stuff. I gotta make sure that the spaces where Cyclops and Jean are are not occupied. Six recruit. No, yep, six recruit. Probably going to take Calculated Rage. Seems smart. Three attack. You can look at the top card, discard it, put it back, and then Berserk. Which means you discard that card, get its printed attack value. Seems nice to set that up that way. I'm going to need more tech, though, to make this really worthwhile. But at least I'll take Furry Fury, so maybe I can make this a strength card and also get Cyclops as well. Yeah, we were just talking about that in the... Uh, in the private Discord chat for Twitch subscribers, that definitely doesn't exist. There's been a couple of hints they've dropped. Um, some language in the Discord maybe sounds like they might be think working on a uh, revamp core set, but uh, it's all rumors right now. They did reveal a... Yeah, that's where I got it from. Well, actually, I got it from somewhere else, but the uh, Dre set has kind of evolved from the set I used, so go check that out. Um, the revamped course, uh, so there was that, there's, um, oh, somebody got a, um, a Magneto promo that we have not seen based on the one from the core set, so that's a hint. They also mentioned maybe a couple years ago, or maybe last year, I forgot when, but they were talking about the, uh, 10th anniversary of Legendary. So there's been a lot of hints, and my theory, personally, is that they have one and they have a plan for one and they really want to do one and they originally planned for one this year but due to all the delays from the last expansions they had to push it a little bit so i'm confident just with my hunches that they're working on one but i don't know if it's going to be ready this year we'll see if it, if it is a thing but i i think it's probably a thing and i think it'll be a limited edition thing they're not going to completely replace the core set i think it's going to be a special edition limited time only set but we'll see Okay, turn four gives... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're really trying to get this wedding done before Sinister... Well, actually, Sinister is speedrunning the wedding. He's, he's trying to get this done before the actual wedding finishes. Here we go. Gain the top of either wedding's hero stack. Then K... Well, let's do that first. So we've got... Um, the same card. Um, I'm gonna actually gain... Throw over the railing. 
for the covert effect on the right. Then KO two cards on the top of each wedding hero stack that has a villain or mastermind in a space immediately below it. So unfortunately, that does apply to the uh, Jean Grey side because there's a mastermind there. So both of these two throw over the railings get KO'd. So let me go ahead and adjust my stacks. I realize I haven't been doing that this time, this whole time. So the Jean Grey stack has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards left. So minus four on that side. If I didn't shuffle, it would probably be better, actually. <laughs> my schemes are usually... Well, I, yeah, I do my pile shuffle all the time. So this is just how it works out. I don't know what to tell you. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's only... There's 13 Cyclopses still. So we're at uh, 13 out of 14 Cyclops, 10 out of 14 Jean Grey. And then the leftmost hero stack walks down the aisle, moving one space to the right. So Jean is now over the bridge, which time traveling Jean Grey loves. No, I just put the deck on my table and I tapped it a couple of times. That's a shuffle, right? It's fine. I'll play through. I just asked it really nicely to mix the cards around. All right. On the right hand side, we got four recruit. I don't really want to take furry furies. So let me go ahead and look at these ranged cards. We've got uh, travel through limbo, one attack, teleport, and then range you get plus two. Teleport, if you don't know, means you get to uh, basically save this card for the next turn. You add it as an extra card for your next hand, but you don't get to use it this turn. This won't work yet until I have some triggers. However, Optic Blast is great. You just have to discard a card to play this, and usually you end up with more attack than you started with. So I'm going to go ahead and take Optic Blast. I'm probably going to end up with some ranged over here, too. I'm short on Recruit, so I need to remember that. But uh, I'm probably going to take Read Your Thoughts when I can. So maybe an Officer later would be beneficial to me. And if I get enough bystanders with Jean Grey, I might be able to get some uh, recruit out of that. There's a couple bystanders that give me recruit. Maybe we'll see a villain next turn. I don't know. There's definitely villains in this deck. That's the fun part of Legendary. It's always unexpected. I feel like the last few games I haven't drawn a Scheme Twist first, so it kind of put me, uh, put my guard down. Okay, I've got a 3-3 three and three this time. And from the Villain deck for turn 5, we're ending up with Inferno Cyclops. Okay, our first of the Gene and Scott Villain group that Micro Disney put together. Ambush. Inferno Cyclops captures a Bystander. This one's hard to read. <laughs> it captures a Bystander. Okay. It is an Aspiring Hero. Escape the by the mastermind captures all the bystanders this villain had. That would be really bad with Mr. Sinister. He's not gonna escape, right? So let's go ahead and put him there. All right, we've got uh, three recruits. This is my left hand side. This is the side where I don't want to take magic. I think I want to save magic with the rain for the right hand side. There's so many class triggers. I do kind of want to keep them together for this game, but for Beast, I also want a lot of attack for Berserk. That said, I've taken so much attack, I'm short on Recruit, so I'm going to go with an Officer for this turn. I'm not going to take too many, but I do need to make sure I have enough Recruit. So for my 3 Recruit, I'm going to take a Shield Officer, so I can get the cards that will help me work with Berserk. Sentinels are the Villain group, or the Henchman group here, and I hope they show up. I could use some early KO power, but I haven't seen a lot of them. Okay, ooh, okay, I got uh, a five recruit to attack here. Turn six gives us... There's a sentinel. I summoned them by mentioning them. Okay, Cyclops, you're still up here. I'm going to leave you right here. Turn you sideways. Get you slightly on, on camera there. All right, cool. Well, Mr. Sinister invited them, so, you know, take that for what it's worth. I just finished reading... Um, the Bendis Moon Knight run from 2012. I really enjoyed that. And now I'm reading the X-Men Schism comics, and I read the intro to Schism, and I really enjoyed those stories. Those were great, if you haven't seen those. Especially the one about, uh, more about Magneto's background, a retelling of his story. Okay, we've got five recruit, two attack, no effect on this. Can't fight anything there. But I can take one of these Jean Grey cards this time. With my five recruit. Read your thoughts. It gives me three plus recruit. Whenever you rescue a bystander this turn, you get plus one recruit. I haven't seen the Jean Grey card that actually gives me bystanders. 
But I might later. But this is a lot of recruit. I'm going to take it. And uh, nothing to fight for two. There's our first Mirage with Moonlight. So Mirage should go on either side. Um, Gina, the Gina Scott villain group is a custom villain group that uh, Micro Disney put together of eight different Gene and Scott cards across the legendary. The first one you saw was Infernal Cyclops. I'm going to let the rest be a surprise as they appear, but it's a really cool idea. It's a mix and match. What's funny is uh, Micro Disney submitted this, I think, in January, and uh, on Thursday's Upper Deck stream... Uh, Rob Ford built the setup that is very similar, uses the same scheme, and also mixes and matches cards from Legendary. And I'm like, oh no, <laughs> I'm going to do that this weekend. But it was cool uh, to have the same idea. All right, turn seven gives us a Sentinel. All right, no more scheme twists. They're all at the bottom of the deck, right? We're done with those. But I can't let this escape because that's going to power up Mr. Sinister. So let's see if I can get six attack. I can trigger throw over the railing this turn. I forgot I had one over here, but uh, let's do it. So, again, reincarnate as KO this card, gain a sh hero from the shield officer stack or HQ that costs four or less and put it into your hand. I could gain Furry Fury this way uh, and put it into my hand. So, yeah, that means I would get um, two attack, four attack, five attack, and a Berserk. X Gene Strength Berserk. So, if I'm lucky, I'll Berserk a Trooper and I'll get six attack, but we'll see what I have in my discard. Hmm, I have three troopers in my discard and one in my hand, so I don't have any more. And I don't know if I have any other cards that give me attack. I could take uh, Dreams Made Real to draw a card, but because uh, it is Moonlight. But either way, I'm going to want Fairy Fury more. I'm going to take more strength over here. I can uh, choose a villain on the rooftops, though, and give it minus two, though. So I can weaken Inferno Cyclops. And I can hit for Infernal Cyclops anyway. So let's do that. Time traveling Gene Grey is actually working. Here we go. Let's go ahead and KO Reincarnate and gain a hero from the HQ that costs four or less. All right. So that's gone. I will gain Furry Fury to my hand. Replace. Now we're going to go ahead and play Throw Over the Railing to attack. And the power activates thanks to Reincarnate. The couple's working together. I choose a villain on the rooftops. I choose Inferno Cyclops. And I reduce Inferno Cyclops' attack by two. So he goes down to four. And uh, let's keep going. I've got Furry Fury for two more attack. Let's Berserk. Top card of my hero deck is an agent. I didn't think I'd get anything from that. I discard it and get plus no attack. I don't have a strength in my discard, so I don't get the X gene. But I do have enough attack to take out Inferno Cyclops right now. So I will do so with my four attack. No fight effect on Inferno Cyclops, so it's defeated. Get out of here, wrong Cyclops. And I do get an Aspiring Hero. When you rescue this by a standard, gain a sidekick. And then what I gain is Rock Slide. Looks like we have some Shattering coming, which is great. And uh, I have one attack left, but which I won't play. I have three Recruit. Who am I going to Shatter? That'll be fun. I'll sh I'll pro I, I think I know who I'm going to Shatter. I'm just not going to tell you yet. It's a secret. All right. Nope, free recruit. Um, should I take Mirage over here? It's ranged, but it doesn't require a ranged trigger. It'll let me draw cards, and it does give me two attack for Berserk. And I do need to keep the HQ moving. So it's either this or an officer. I already took an officer, didn't I? I'm going to take Mirage. There'll be more. I think it'll work out for me over here. That'll be nice to Berserk, and I can draw with it anyway. Discard and draw. Um, this is a great card with Cyclops, though, with Unending Energy. So, hopefully I see another one. But that, that combo is not going to happen for a while, so I can be patient on that. Unending Energy lets you uh, return this card to your hand if you discard it. Which works with Cyclops' other cards, but also works well with Mirage there. Because, again, if you discard it, you, draw it, you put it back in your hand, and you draw another card anyway with Mirage. Um, it also works well with Berserk. I think. I'd have to look at that one because it says you may return it to your hand. It was never in your hand if you discard it from your deck. And I'm pretty sure there's a ruling on that somewhere, but... I'll have to remind myself... ...on that. 
if and when it comes to it. Okay, what do we got? Three recruit, two attack, and a sidekick. And another sentinel. Alright, sentinels are flying in at a rapid pace. And I can't take them out. Let's rally the new mutants. Let's gain another sidekick with the special sidekicks from Mazai Complex. This is fantastic. Alright, I'm going to gain... Ooh, Darwin is here. That's lucky. That's going to leave me with... Uh, two attack doesn't go anywhere. Three recruit. Now I can take magic. Yeah. Because I can teleport this, wait till I get arranged, and then play it for three attack if I need to. Travel through limbo is going to be recruited. Yeah, maybe unending energy is better for the left if I can bring it back after berserking. What do you guys think? Without me looking it up right now. If I berserk Cyclops, do I get to put him in my hand? I think I do. It says return it to your hand, but yeah, again, that card was made before you had mechanics like berserk. So I think, I think uh, if I do look it up, it'll say, if I Berserk Unending Energy, it goes into my hand. Because it is a card effect that makes me discard it. But I'm willing to hear you guys out if you disagree. But I'm sure there's posts about it somewhere. If it looks like it works, it usually works. Yeah. I know that other situations where you discard from your deck trigger, like uh, with uh, Ruby Summers... I think when we used Ruby Summers, it did work that way, so it would only make sense for Cyclops to work that way, too. Ooh, I have some good attack here. Let's go. Turn 9 is Dark Cyclops. There's the second from that new villain group. Another Cyclops appears. This one's from Shadow X. Ambush. Each player reveals a ranged hero or discards a card. Fight. Gain this as a hero. It does use the word return, though. But again, I'm ignoring the word return because... Uh, again, it's from the core set. Each player reveals a ranged hero or discards a card. So I can't reveal a ranged hero here. So I have to discard somebody. I'm not going to do some strong recruiting this turn, so I will discard a shield agent. See how many things I can hit. I could calculate all the attack, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, I think I have just enough attack to hit two, two sentinels. Right hand side. Does the right hand side have a ranged? Uh, yeah, optic blast saves me from the other. So Cyclops... This Cyclops shoots a beam, that Cy Cyclops shoots a beam, and they cancel each other out. Uh, yes. Okay. I think we ignore the word return there, like I said, because of the fact that it's from the core set. And if you fight it, you gain it as a hero. Yeah, beamception. Exactly. Alright. Um, I'm gonna want to play Captivating Conundrum second, so I can trigger the X... Oh, no, that's XG. So XG and I need a card in my discard pile that's attack. I don't have one. So I just actually messed myself up. I discarded the uh, in agent, so maybe I want to take that back. Here's why. If I keep the two recruit, I can recruit Captivating Conundrum. And again, I'm taking it back. I haven't revealed anything. Um, I can recruit Captivating Conundrum, which will let me activate X-Gene, which will let me draw a card. Which might offset the fact that I have to discard something uh, for the ambush from Dark Cyclops. So if I discard the trooper... I will end up with 3, 4, 5 attack, plus a card draw, plus I already get Berserk. Um, he actually comes to my Saturday game sometimes, so maybe he's here. Um, oh, that's a good season too. I hope you enjoyed that one. So again, I can go with the guaranteed 3, 4, 5, 6 attack plus the Berserk, which will let me take out two Sentinels. Or I can do the X gene draw card. I think I'm safer to do the sure thing. So I'm going to go back to plan A, discard the agent, and just to get my guaranteed 6 attack, fight the sentinel, KO 2 heroes, uh, call it a day. So let me start with calculated rage. Maybe I will uh, berserk away attack. Maybe this will this will work. 3 attack, look at the top card of your deck, discard it or put it back. Okay, it's dreams made real. I would love the extra attack from this. So I'm going to put this back, and then I'm going to berserk Dreams made real, which gives me the printed attack. I'm at two attack from that. Awesome. Which means I can actually hit Dark Cyclops if I want. I have seven attack. I could get eight. Let me see. Do I want Dark Cyclops over here? Oh, this one's so good for the other side. Although, although, I didn't commit to making this straight fit. I could make this side... Berserk slash Cyclops discard stuff. If I do, this will be great to have. And that means I can focus on making the right just covert bystander collecting. Huh. Is that the direction I want to go? 
<laughs> okay, I'll take a look after this. You know what? I'm switching up my strategy. Left hand side is going to become tech and range with discard shenanigans for beast. Plus, if I berserk away on ending energy, that's a lot of attack. And it'll come back. Right hand side, I think I'm going to go with everything else with covert and maybe the uh, instinct stuff. And I'll take strength beast over here. Yeah, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm deciding. So let's go ahead and fight Dark Cyclops for seven. Gain it as a hero. We get an X gene effect. Return a ranged hero from your discard pile to your hand. Works with Mirage and Cyclops. Yeah, I'm happy on that decision. Okay, uh, I will play one shield agent. I'll have one attack, one recruit left. I don't have an X gene tech, so I'm just going to end my turn here. All right, I hope I don't regret that decision. Yeah, agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is one of those rare TV shows, and this doesn't happen with a lot of shows. Oops, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Surprise explosion. Uh, one of the rare TV shows where the seasons only increase in quality over time, I think. I think Breaking Bad is one of those rare shows that also does that, but there's not that many that just get better and better. S.H.I.E.L.D. is definitely one. Question about the hero Quasar. His card manipulate Graviton says whenever you recruit a hero, gain a shard. If you play two of those, can you get two shards? Yes, uh, so that's uh, for each effect. Oh, you say negative. Well, here's here's the thing. If you have, you mean if you have two manipulate gravitons, if you have two manipulate gravitons, each one gets a shard. If, if that's what you're asking, is that what you're asking? Oh, did it freeze? Uh, I was saying that. If you didn't hear me, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is one of those shows that only gets better over time. Each season gets better, in my opinion. Not a lot of shows do that. Sometimes they drop off. Uh, all right, here. Turn 10 it gives us a Master Strike. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mr. Sinister needs a lozenge. My goodness. Hopefully he works that out before the next strike. All right. Mr. Sinister captures a bystander. And uh, here we go. Then each player with exactly six cards reveals a covert hero or discards cards equal to the number of bystanders Mr. Sinister has. So uh, I reveal magic on the right side. I'm safe. Left hand side reveals, ooh, Jean Grey. So I'm safe from both. But Mr. Sinister does go up and attack. Okay, right hand, were you asking the question I thought you were asking? Um... It says whenever you recruit a hero, gain a shard. So both cards say that, so you do the card effect separately. So let's say you have two of those and you recruit a hero. You recruit a hero, this card triggers, I recruited a hero, so I gain a shard. Then this card triggers, I recruited a hero and I gain a shard. So each card gets a shard. If you had one of those cards and you recruited two heroes, um, that would also right that would also give you a shard. You know, it's uh, it's literally I'm confident it's the way I said it. There's all the other cards that work that way. There's one example, the Stepford Cuckoos, by the way. Um, yeah, uh, there's the the Stepford Cuckoos have a rare that says, uh, what does it say? Uh, it says, if you do a certain thing with the villain deck, put a bystander into the villain deck. So if you have two of those cards, you would put two bystanders in the villain deck because each card effect triggers. So yeah, um, it does. It doesn't really even stack. It's not a stack. It's just two different cards doing two separate effects with the same trigger, if that makes sense. So yes, all right, let's keep going. I've got Optic Blast I gotta consider here. I have to discard a card to play this. If I decide to discard a yeah, clone, that's, well, was I thinking about clone? No, I wasn't thinking of clone. I was thinking of uh, their rare effect that um, puts bystanders in. I think it has to do with uh, something with the, you know what, I wanna look. <laughs> I have to, if you wanna tell me what it is, I have to look. Let's do a little bit of uh, looking at stuff. All right, so here's what we're talking about. So the rare is Mind Wipe. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a villain, you get plus two attack, and you may fight it this turn. If you fight it, put a card from the bystander stack on top of the villain deck. So if you have two of those Mind Wipes, you would get plus four attack, and you fight it. You would put two cards in the bystander stack on top of the villain deck because one bystander from each card. That's how it would work. Anyway. All right, so if I decide to discard an operative, I would get one, two, three, four, five attack, which is not enough to hit two sentinels. So I might as well. Yeah, it's two different card effects because it's two different cards. So I might as well discard a soldier to play this because five attack isn't enough. 
So discarding the soldier. Yeah, good question though. I discard the soldier to play Optic Blast. Gives me three attack. Uh, I will play Rather New Mutants just to get a sidekick. Give me somebody good. It's Ms. Lion. It's Covert. I'll take it. And I will play my two recruit. Operative, operative. So I only have three attack. The soldier's not going to give me any extra to do anything. So let's go ahead and fight the Sentinel in the bank. Uh, we didn't look at the Sentinel yet from the core set. Fight KO one of your heroes. I will happily do that. An operative has to go. And the Sentinel has to go as well. And for two recruit, I'm going to take... I don't want to take Beast over here. So I'm going to go with a sidekick again. I gained one. You can only recruit one per turn, but it doesn't mean you can't gain other ones from other effects. Sidekick is a standard. The first standard I've seen in a while with these Messiah Complex Mutant Special Sidekicks. You see less of the standard from Secret Wars Volume 1. Which, to some people, might be a good thing. To some people, might, might not be a good thing. I do like them a lot. Standard sidekicks are a lot better than standard officers. Sometimes you just want to draw two cards, you know? Okay, we haven't seen the wedding couple move in a while. I guess someone's got cold feet, but we'll see if that changes in a second. Turn 11 gives us Scalp Hunter. Oh no, the wedding is not going well when Scalp Hunter shows up. He gets plus one attack for each bias standard he has. Ambush each player, chooses a bias standard from their victory pile. Scalp Hunter captures those bias standards. So he's going to take the Aspiring Hero from the left-hand side. And the right side has no bias standards, so he just gets an Aspiring Hero. Okay. There we go. Let's make sure we can see that Cyclops is still here. Scalp Hunter is currently threatening him. All we have here... It's three attack and four recruit. Pretty simple. Let's fight a sentinel with the three attack that I have. KO one of your heroes. I will KO a shield agent. Let's uh, thin the deck a bit. And we'll get rid of the sentinel. And with my four recruit... Do I want to take Captivating Conundrum? Let me look at Empathic Link real quick. Empathic Link says, When a card effect causes you to discard this card... Set it aside. At the end of this turn, add it to your hand as an extra card. This would also work with the Cyclops Berserk stuff I'm doing on the left. So, I'm actually going to take this on the left. Let's see how much uh, discard shenanigans I can do here. So, recruiting Empathic Link for three. So, I thought I was going with classes, but now I'm going with discard mechanic and not discard mechanic. Maybe by standards if the right side can get their act together. But I should, I should have some really interesting cards coming up. Interesting turns. Oh, I, I drew Rock Slide, which means I don't have the X-Gene Berserk, but that's okay. I might get to shatter somebody if I want. Of course, I might just hold on to Rock Slide for a while until I can shatter somebody strong. If I shatter a Scalp Hunter, he only goes down to two. But if I shatter a stronger villain, they'll get cut in half and uh, potentially lose more attack, depending on what their attack is. Turn 12 gives us another Sentinel. All right, a little bit of a breather after that chaotic beginning. Okay, so things are complicated for this turn. I can teleport travel through Limbo, but I can't trigger the effect. I can't trigger the power on time traveling Jean Grey. I can't activate Darwin, but I can choose only recruit or attack because no cards have... Yes, he is five. Let me go ahead and put a counter on him. Um, I don't have any cards that have both symbols except for Darwin himself. So what is my max attack this turn? It's one, two, three, four, five if I use Darwin. No, six if I use Darwin. He gets plus, uh, plus two. Do I want to do that? If I play all four of my cards, uh, I have enough attack for four. But yeah, if I do want to hit Scalp Hunter, I'm going to have to play Darwin. Which I probably should do before things get too nuts. If I decide to play it as a recruit card, I will get something for four. But there's nothing here I want for four. I just want to take Jean Grey over here. So let's just play everything out. One attack, two attack, three attack. We're actually going to do this. We're going to teleport magic, and we're going to play Darwin. So we can keep teleporting magic if we want. So I'm going to play Darwin. The most recent card I played was Jean Grey. I have an attack icon, so I got two more attack, and then Darwin goes away. So now I can just straight up hit Scalp Hunter right now. So we're going to go do that. No fight effects, so Scalp Hunter is gone. And I got a bystander here. The Aspiring Hero has moved from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. I will gain a sidekick. That sidekick is Hairball. 
Um, anybody else play a lot of video games where you get really good items and then you never use them? You're on the last boss battle and you have like, I don't know, an ultimate revive something and you never use it because it's too good to ever use and you finish the game and you just, you're just like, shoot, I haven't used the thing. Well, some of these sidekicks feel like that somehow, sometimes, so I have to force myself. Just use them. Just get them out of there. Just use them when you got them. The game's not that long. Okay, so Magic has teleport, so we're going to go ahead and uh, teleport her to my next hand. There's an extra card. Yeah, exactly. It's it's a thing that a lot of gamers <laughs> do, and uh, Legendary is not immune from it. With uh, one-time use things like, si like, uh, like sidekicks, for sure. Okay, two recruit. Um, oh yeah, for sure. I think my biggest one is, uh, is like Pokemon. I don't think I've ever used any rare candies because I just saved them all. I pretty much got to the end of Pokemon Legends Arceus and, uh, I still have all my, my rare candies and dust and everything. Just haven't used them. Okay, here we go. Two recruit gives me a sidekick and that sidekick is a standard once again. Yeah, they just... So that that's kind of why I liked in some games like Breath of the Wild where the weapons do break. You're kind of forced to use them and break them. And I know there's uh, criticisms of the weapon breaking system, but that is one advantage. That it avoids that gamer instinct to not use the thing. Alright, turn 13 gives us Master's... Oh, hold on. Uh, Mr. Essex? Yeah, I got this lozenge for you. Hold on. No, it's, it's all poison. You can try... I know I know you're ruining a wedding. I know I know you're in the middle of that, but you really need one of these. Trust me. Everybody can hear it. Everybody can hear it. You sound terrible. Just take... There you go. There you go. All right. All right. Now give us, give us, give us a hearty laugh. <laughs> oh, so much better. So much better. See what happens when you listen to me? Okay, where were we? Anyway, he gets a bystander. That is the third bystander he gets. Then each player with exactly six, which is not going to be the side with uh, magic. So the side that could reveal the covert can't, or doesn't. And the uh, left-hand side doesn't have a uh, covert. So I have to discard cards equal to the number of bystanders Mr. Sinister has. Mr. Mr. Sinister has three bystanders. So I have to discard three cards in this hand, which is not great. I could have four recruit, or I could have... I probably want to keep the four recruit. I have the, uh... I have enough attack to take out one sentinel, if I want. I could shatter one. I don't really want to do that. So, you know what I'm going to do? If I do discard rock slide, I will get... I will get uh, X-Gene uh, strength. So let's discard rock slide. Let's discard the trooper. Okay, I really want to get the other Furry Fury. So, you know, I'm going to throw that all out the window. I'm still going to discard Furry Fury. I'm going to discard all three of these. Keep my four recruits so I can get another Furry Fury. I have an, an empty enough city. Okay, so our Mastermind is now at 11 attack. It's getting stronger. He had to get that one bystander just by a card draw, didn't he? Let's play it. Four recruit. Let's take Furry Fury. More Berserk Opportunities, which works well with all these discard cards I've got. And another Gene Grey. Where is the range Gene Grey? Where are you? I gotta keep the HQ moving. I need I need to get bystanders on the right, or else the right side is gonna do absolutely nothing. Nothing is not good. Hey, Mr. Giraffe's down to uh, 12,000 HP. What is that? Uh, 24, 24 more subs of points, and then he's gone. It's only a matter of time, man. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a mess. Check this hand out, my goodness. Okay, this is a great hand. I have got two, four, seven attack, plus three berserks, plus four recruit, plus I get to d berserk. Well, I don't get to berserk empathic link. Anyway, the point is this is gonna be good. Maybe I can even hit the mastermind. Which, of course, I'm always trying to do. Okay. Let's go. Turn 14. 
Chimera shows up our first, our second Marauder, actually, after Scalp Hunter. Chimera gets plus three attack for each bystander. She has Ambush, reveal the top three cards of the villain deck. Okay, one, two, three. Chimera captures all the bystander cards you revealed. Okay, I've already had one bystander come out, so maybe I won't have a second one. I don't. What's that doing there? I don't know. All I know is I'm going to put Sentinels on top. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, random order. I don't get to pick. So we'll see if I get to put the two Sentinels on top. So... Maybe that weird card that you saw will come up. I wonder why that card was there. So odd. Okay. Alright, random order it is. Uh, she gets nothing, so she's only at three attack. Which means... Well, let me play read your thoughts first. Three recruit. I get one recruit whenever I rescue a bystander. So it's unfortunate that Chimera didn't get one. Otherwise, I would have got an extra recruit. Following with... Rally the New Mutants. Do you remember... Um, I don't remember if it ever worked or not. But... Uh, Definitely hard to do with a deck, a standard villain deck with only two bystanders. There are plenty of schemes that put bystanders in the in the villain deck, but uh, you have to be matching those up, of course. So what I'm trying to say is rarely, rarely. Okay. It would be interesting to have uh, Marauders versus Psylord because he can put a lot of bystanders in the villain deck. So that way it would almost always happen. All right, let's gain two sidekicks, one for the standard and one for the act uh, activation. Here we go. First one is Hairball gained. Thank you for the hydration, Mikey. Weather's been very weird. It's been hot, it's been cold, it's been dry, it's been humid. I don't know, so I definitely need that. Second sidekick, Red Wing. More Pet Avengers. Okay, I'll take them. Four recruit for my operative, so I'm at seven recruit. Enough for a rare that I don't have. And I have... Travel through Limbo. It would be the only attack I would get this turn. Oh, that, that's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Where'd you order it from? If you don't mind me asking. Um, so, for 7 Recruit, I can take Unending Energy, but again, I would love to get this on the left-hand side with all the Berserks and Discards. So I think what I want to do is take the other Jean Grey and just keep recruiting. And hopefully another one shows up. I'm going to take Read Your Thoughts for 5 Recruit. And... Okay, we got another Rally of New Mutants. I will take that for two. I was reading your message, Avatar. I'm, I, I'm assuming you mean that yours left the US. But it looks like it says mine left us. Like you had it and then it just is left. <laughs> Which would be really sad. Okay. There we go. We have a... Uh, oh, this is when every rescue by... I need her range card that gives me bystanders. Anyway, since uh, Travel Through Limbo does nothing this turn, she is going to get teleported once again. Yeah, Bezos USA. We all know where that is. And that's my turn. So many sidekicks are going to get drawn. So that's the teleport, my first card. That's not the teleport. And maybe I'll draw a whole bunch of sidekicks. This would be interesting. I forgot just how many sidekicks uh, magic can give you. All right. Let's go. We've got three, four, five, six, seven after the teleport. Looks like I'm getting more sidekicks this turn. We have a lot of sidekicks. We have a lot of recruit. What I do need are bystanders. So if I can hit Mr. Sinister, I want to do that on the right-hand side. I get to gain. I get to rescue all the bystanders, and then uh, that'll really help. Okay. Turn 15. Another Sentinel. Yeah, keep those guys coming. That's a nice buffer. Let me build up. Okay, we have a lot of Berserks to do, so a little time. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, Empathic Link, unfortunately, I have no cards that actually discard this card from my hand. But maybe... Nah, I won't be able to, so that's not going to help me here. But uh, let's Berserk. Let's start with Calculated Rage. Here we go. Three attack. Look at the top card of your deck, discard it, put it back. Top card is an Agent. I will discard the Agent. And I will Berserk whatever's at the top. It is Dark Cyclops, which is cool because I get three attack from this Berserk. Up to six attack. Now, let me play my Recruit. Two Recruit, four Recruit. 
Yeah, I'm going to hit the Mastermind for sure this turn. Well, almost for sure. I just need one attack from one of the two Berserks I've got. At least two Berserks. So I can't recruit any Strength that'll give me X-Gene Berserk, at least from the HQ. I could hope for a Strength Sidekick or Special Officer. If I don't, I'll take Captivating Conundrum. I'm going to go... I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to go with a Sidekick and hopefully I get another Strength one. There's a couple of them in there. So I'm going to take a, a Sidekick. This Sidekick I get is Standard, so not what I wanted. That's okay. I can still use that. Let's just Berserk what we've got. Going with uh, Furry Fury. Two more attack. And let me just show you the Berserk. I want, it's better if I do that. All right. We got one Berserk. It is plus one attack. Okay. There's my deck. And we'll play the second Furry Fury. Two more attack. I'm up to 11. That's enough to hit the Mastermind already. And then one more Conundrum. So it's a uh, 12 total attack with Berserk. Okay. Even though the city's full, I got to get those Biosanders out of there because he's only going to get stronger. So, let me go ahead and hit him right now. Okay. Uh, I'll get the bystanders in a second. Let me go ahead and do his tactic first. Actually, no. I should take the bystanders out of here. And then do the tactic and then do the bystander effects. I think that's the order. So, he's back down to 8 attack, I believe. Tactic is... We'll see. What order do I do this in? Yep, uh, Telepathic Manipulation, Mr. Sinister catches a bystander from each other player's victory pile. So right-hand side, luckily, lucky for me, this is my victory pile. I already lost one, so... Oh no, I didn't get one in the first place. So he doesn't get any. I rescue three bystanders, and I get this tactic. And just to confirm everything, double, double, triple check. Okay, uh, he gets plus one attack for each bystander he has. Right now he has no bystanders, so he's down to eight attack. Joke's on him. I get two standard bystanders and the banker. The banker is going to give me plus two recruit four heroes in the bank. And unfortunately for me, uh, because I decided to recruit a sidekick, now I can't get calculated rage. Otherwise, I would have been able to because uh, I would have had five towards there. But this doesn't do anything for me right now. So. I should have... Uh, well, I was taking a gamble. I was trying to get a, a strength for Furry Fury, but uh, whatever. I have two recruit left. I can't take another sidekick. I already took one. I can take the conundrum here. Do I want to, though? I do have enough tech where I might be able to draw more often than not. So I think I still want to take it, even though it's kind of weak for Berserk. But even with Berserk, it does give me an attack. So I will take Captivating Conundrum. Plus, I want to keep the HQ moving. I want to see that ranged Jean Grey show up. And she does, finally. All right, the right side now has a bystander engine. Well, I have to recruit that first. I was hoping that Psychic Search would show up, and it finally did. It's funny, a Rock Slide does not really play well with all the attack I'm getting on the left. Well, I mean, for Berserk, no, but for attack purposes, yes. We'll see. Okay, turn 16. Do we have a full city? We do. City full of Sentinels. Gonna have to hit one. Okay, I know what the next card from the villain deck is too. If you remember, you should know as well. Should I start with the sidekick? I think I should. Let's play the sidekick. I get to draw two cards. I get a soldier and another magic. So let's draw. Let's get four sidekicks. How does that sound to you guys? Sounds good to me. Read your thoughts. Three recruit. Whenever you rescue a bias there this turn, you get plus one recruit again. Left side stole them all. So, this will work with a Psychic Search, but um, not yet. All right, let's get some sidekicks. Here we go. Rally the New Mutants twice. I've played a Covert, so I gain two sidekicks This for this one. I get two sidekicks for the second one. So, who do I get? This first one gives me a side standard sidekick and Lockheed. The second one is going to give me two more, which is going to be... Oh, let's empty the stack. That'll be fun. Gives me standard... Boom, boom. Sweet. That's a decent one for um, the range side. Because I can keep putting her back there if I want. Oh, I didn't do the animation. That's got to be an official gain. Okay. I'll play my soldiers. I've got one, two, three of them for three attack. Then I have an agent for, or an operative. Now, if I play magic, I'm going to get four total attack. 
I don't need to play her because everything's three in the city. Chimera's not going to get stronger. So if I hit a Sentinel, I can do some KOing. I don't need that much, that many operatives anymore. I have two Read Your Thoughts, Jean Grey, that gives me three each. So let's, once again, teleport magic. And uh, we will hit a Sentinel. We'll hit the one in the sewers for three. Let's say KO one of your heroes. We know what they do by now. So let's go ahead and KO this Hydra Operative. And for four Recruit, I'm going to take Psychic Search. This is why I was excited for this one. Psychic Search, X-Men rescue a bystander and gives you two attack. Works well with the rest of her set because those go off of how many bystanders you get and have. Psychic Search is being recruited with no hesitation. And another Optic Blast shows up. I love the fact that teleport is not a one-time thing, otherwise it wouldn't be as fun. Yeah, I mean, out of time kind of fills that void. Because out of time is kind of a one-time teleport if you think about it, even though it also is you have to play at the beginning of your turn. But uh it, yeah, it's fun to keep teleporting a card over and over, because once you get it in the loop, that's great. And that's why uh Nightcrawler set is so much fun, because you can teleport other things. Soaring Flight is uh I guess Soaring Flight is a one-time teleport, but in with a caveat that it has to have been recruited. Um, to get that. So they're both similar in that way. Uh, out of time you play, you can trigger it by playing it. Soaring Flight is you recruit it. But Soaring Flight is more like a one-time teleport once you um, once you have it. Because you can't Soaring Flight it again. So yeah. Alright. Moving over. It's fun to have mechanics that are somewhat similar but also pretty different. And uh, I don't mind if we see more of that even if they're completely different named mechanics turn 17 okay this is one of the villains that micro disney put in corrupted clone of gene gray this is a tactic from madeline Pryor, but i'm assuming because i don't think micro's here this counts as a villain for the purposes of this game so it's a 10 attack villain with the fight effect each other player reveals an x-men hero or gains a wound so anything that says villain i can use this you could use on this so, for example, Rock Slide Shatter will work on that card. So that's cool. Oh yeah, you're right. The the ritual artifacts for sure. Okay, so I have Rock Slide. So the good news is I can shatter that villain tactic, but the bad news is uh, it's only going to go down to five, and I can't get five attack. Um, I do have Dreams Made Real though. Dreams Made Real lets me discard a card to draw one. If I don't do that, I'm going to have two, three, four, five recruit, and I can take Calculated Rage. Um, so probably what I want to do here is discard Rock Slide actually to draw a new card because I can't hit uh, the clone with the Shatter anyway. And uh, I can have him come back up when she's further into the city. So let's do that. Let's, uh, is it Moonlight by the way? I should check. Sun, Sun, Moon. Yep, I'm in Moonlight. Three odds, two evens. So let's play Dreams Made Real. Two attack. Um, and I'm barely at Moonlight. So let me discard Rock Slide to draw a card. Hopefully I get one more attack. I can take a Sentinel out. I do. I got it. Alright, awesome. That was a good good gamble. So I have three attack. Now I can make sure there's no escapes next turn. And I have four recruit. Or five recruit. So let's fight a Sentinel. Let's fight the one in the bank. Sentinels once again. K one of your heroes. One of these agents has to go. So does the Sentinel. Now with five recruit, I'm going to take Calculated Rage. Again for the sweet, sweet Berserk attack keep that going and then maybe later I can get unending energy I didn't have enough recruit to get it this turn but maybe later that would be a great card to get okay I thought this was really clever as an addition to this villain group I'll post the entire setup in the discord later and I'll, I'll break down who is in the villain group for the Scott and Gene villain group and uh, you can actually use that if you want in a different game it's very clever so yeah, there are four Scots and four Jeans across villain groups plus the tactic. So that all works. Kind of in the vein of how the viewers play game is going with the uh, unique versus variants. Okay. Turn 18. We're already at turn 18. And we have... Blockbuster showing up from the Marauders. He gets plus two attack for each bystander he has. Ambush if there is a villain in the bank. 
that villain and blockbuster each capture a bystander. So luckily for me, there are no villains. In, actually, there are villains in the bank. So ambush after he enters. So now he's a villain in the bank. So bystander for this and there. Yeah, the tactic is counting as a villain for this game. So bystander for corrupted clone of Jean Grey and bystander for blockbuster. Blockbuster gets plus two for that. It's the bulldozer driver. So Blockbuster's at 6 attack. I have to also remember, which I had forgotten because I haven't seen a Scheme Twist in a while. If a Scheme Twist happens, I have to KO uh, one hero for each space that's occupied underneath one of the couple. So I'm going to try to clear those spaces. I mean, I had the sewers clear a second ago. Oh no, I didn't. I had the bank clear. So let's keep that in mind. Alright, we have a ton of sidekicks to play. Where do I want to start with? Let's start with uh, Read Your Thoughts, Gene Gray. Whenever you rescue a bystander this turn, once again, you get plus one recruit. We'll see if I'm able to do that. I'm going to draw a bunch of cards. So maybe. What to do first? Oh, actually, Ms. Lion will give me one right now. So Ms. Lion starts by rescuing a bystander, which is a standard bystander, which, thanks to Read Your Thoughts, gives me one recruit for rescuing a bystander. But I should finish this entire card effect first. So rescue bystander, draw a card. It is magic, and Ms. Lion goes away, and now we'll get the one recruit for the effect. There's no not an interrupt here. Okay, let's draw some more cards. I'll start with the sidekick. Standard, two card draw for me. One, another operative, and two, another operative. Not really what I wanted to see. We'll play Hairball, draw a, another card. Red Wing, all right. One more attack, one total attack. I don't have any attack yet from Hairball goes away. I need two more attack. I only have potential for one more attack, so hopefully Red Wing can give me one more attack so I can hit something. Uh, top three cards of my deck. One, two, three. Ooh, okay. I got lucky. I want the soldier. I need to draw the soldier, so I need my three attack. The rest back go in any order. Doesn't matter. They're the same card. Red Wing goes away. Okay. I just made it. I have one more attack when I play my soldier. I'm going to have to play magic though for one more attack I don't have a range to trigger it so I'm at three I can hit a sentinel or chimera but I should probably hit the sentinel on the bridge just in case the next card is a scheme twist because the Jean Grey card the stack is the uh, smaller stack rally the new mutants is going to give me two more sidekicks let's go first one second one first I get a standard second one is rusty firefish collins and then we have four more. I have eight recruit. Which is great. I can get mine over matter. But let's go ahead and fight first. Let's fight the one on the bridge again. Just in case the next card is a scheme twist. I will avoid one KO from over here. For now. Uh, fight KO one of your heroes. That's going to be... I think another operative. I got a lot of recruit this turn. And go away sentinel. Okay. Now with eight recruit. I'm going to go ahead and take this Jean Grey card. Wait, it's still there. That was weird. All right. That Sentinel was a special model. Mind over matter. Four attack when you rescue a bystander this turn, draw a card. That's great. I'm going to take this quickly for six. Two left. I can actually recruit and third si get a third sidekick this turn by recruiting it, which I will do. It is... Ooh, there we go. Prodigy. That's a good one. You get to play this card as a copy of another hero you play this turn that costs six or less. This card is both tech and the hero class you copy. Put this in the bottom of the sidekick stack. Wonderful. That's going to come in handy. Man, these uh, special sidekicks from a side complex are wonderful. Okay, I've played all three cards that I revealed from the top of the deck, thanks to Chimera, so I have no idea what the next one is. I would hope it's a, it's a, it's a twist. I'll avoid a KO that way from Jean Grey. I'll have to KO one of Cyclops' cards, but he's still at 13 cards, so that's not the worst thing. There we go. A lot more. <laughs> still, I have a lot more sidekicks on my deck. Alright, thanks for sticking around. We are on turn 19 of this thing. Game one of two of our viewers play games once again. If you'd like to see me play one of your setups, all you gotta do is type in command challenges or go to challenges.bageltalkgames.com, fill out the form, and if I like it and it's interesting to me, uh, I might pick it for one of my setups. Okay, we got a villain deck card to play. We have another Sentinel. Not a twist. 
moving the stronger villains down a bit. But at least I have sentinels in the areas that I have to keep clear. But we'll see what I want to fight this turn. Okay, I have nothing that triggers anything else. I have no discard pile for X-Gene. I only have one recruit, and I don't even have any strength cards to recruit, so it looks like I'm just going to get raw attack, printed attack power for all these cards. Except for Furry Fury. That has Berserk. So let's see what I Berserk. Okay. And now remind me on Furry Fury. If you do the Berserk, and you Berserk a strength card, does that mean X-Gene Berserk immediately triggers? And I think it does. I haven't done that in a while. So two attack. Let's Berserk the top card of my deck. It is a trooper. So I get one attack. No second Berserk. Two attack from throw over the railing. Two attack from the shield trooper. Yeah, I thought so. That's how it's designed. I just wanted to check. Okay, and a Dark Cyclops gives me three more attack. I'm at 10. I can hit the Mastermind, but what I should probably do is hit that big scary tactic just to get that bystander. Um, I could hit two things though. I could hit the I could hit the Corrupted Clone of Jean Grey, or I could hit the Bulldozer Driver and one of the three costs. But if I hit the Clone of Jean Grey and a Steam Twist happens, I have to do two KOs. What I don't want is her to end up in the bridge and just kind of sitting there. I could, yeah, I could also hit three things. But let me, you know what? Let me see what the right-hand side looks like. Because if the right-hand side can't take much out, then maybe I don't want to do that. Uh, but it should be able to. One, two, three, four. Ooh, I get to weaken a villain on the bridge. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven attack on the on the right. Actually, nine if I play magic after optic blast. So nine attack potential here. So the right side is going to have exactly nine to hit three things. But if I don't hit these two, I might suffer a bad scheme twist. But nine is enough to take out a three and a six. So you know what I am going to do? I am going to hit... Uh, but then that means uh, the Chimera won't be there if I hit Chimera. Hmm. It all depends on whether or not I think the next card is a twist or not. I have... Uh, Eight twists left in the deck. It's been about time for another one. You know what? Because the right side has nine attack, I am going to... Uh, and I want I want to get a bystander on the right-hand side, right? Do I have anything? Any of those Jean Grey cards? Oh, I don't actually have one that works with bystanders, so... Okay, plan is this. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, okay, so even if I draw a Scheme Twist, I have a couple of KOs... That's fine. I'm not going to lose yet. If I can keep the city clear, that's also good. So I'm going to hit the Clone of Jean Grey this turn. Cross my fingers and hope there's no Scheme Twist next. And then with my 9 attack, then hit 3 things. Then I'll have the city almost completely clear. Let's do that. Okay, let's hit the Clone of Jean Grey for 10. And then I can focus on the Mastermind. Fight each other player feels an x men hero or gains a wound. That's easy. I got plenty of x men heroes. So this is gone for 10. And I get the Aspiring Hero, which other side has plenty of sidekicks. I need more on the left. So let me go ahead and get a sidekick for rescuing that bystander. It's a standard one. That took all my attack. I hope that was worth it. And I have one recruit that doesn't do anything. So, again, next turn can hit three things. Let's hope I don't draw a Scheme Twist next. It's not the end of the world. It'll just be a little unfortunate. And we'll see what comes in the city as well. We have... Of course it is. Of course. So my gamble didn't quite pay off. So here's what happens. I will clear the city now. Again, it's not going to cause me to lose yet, but a little sad. Uh, twist number... Twist number uh, four. Top card of either Wedding Hero sack. Right-hand side, I could get Reincarnate or I could get Jean Grey. I'll take the other... Mm, I don't want to... I, I don't make the Jean Grey deck too small. So let's go ahead and take one card from the Cyclops side. Reincarnate. It's okay. It's totally fine. It, uh, it's just going to reduce the numbers a little. But I'm still in a really good spot. So don't worry. And uh, now we do the rest. KO two cards on the top of the, each Wedding Hero stack that has a Villain or Mastermind in the space immediately below it. That's going to be both. So the top two cards of Jean Grey's get KO'd as well. Top two cards of Cyclopses get KO'd. So the numbers go down a bit. So we should have 10 in one stack at 8 in the other side. 
Yep, just checking the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, twist 8 to 11 is where I get into trouble. But as, if I can hit Mr. Sinister many times, I'll be okay. Okay, let's play this through. Oh, we got to move them down. We got to move down Jean Grey. So she moves. Um, walks down the aisle over the streets. Getting closer. It's okay. We'll clear the streets this time. Let's go. Let's play Hairball. One attack. Draw a card. Uh, put Hairball away. That's another attack for me. We will play Optic Blast. We will discard an Operative to play a card. To, just to play this card. Up to four attack. We will play Magic, which gives me a total of three attack. Thanks to the activated superpower. I'll play the Soldier. I'm at eight. And now I'm going to throw over the Railing, which gives me ten attack total. Plus... I don't activate... Oh, I played Hairball, so I do activate the power. Uh, there's nobody on the rooftops anymore. So, uh, Bridge is going to go down to one, which is great, because I can now hit, uh, I can hit... I can clear the entire city. Oh, not the entire city. I can hit one, two, three, four. I can cl clear three things, including the uh, card with the bystander here. So, let's do this. Okay. I should probably hit this Sentinel, though. So, three, four... 10. Oh no, Chimera's in this spot. If the next card's a uh, strike. Or a twist. So if I wanted to clear both spots where they are, I wouldn't be able to hit... Uh... Okay. You know what? I'm not going to use all my attack. Let's just go ahead and clear everything and uh, keep the two spots open. So we'll hit the Sentinel first for one. Take him out for, for this much. Down to nine, I will KO one of my heroes. A Hydra Operative. Let's hit the uh, Sentinel in the sewers. It's going to cost me an round of six. And we'll KO a Soldier for this one. And then I could again. I can't even read what this villain's name is. That's the problem with the way that Dark City is. It's uh, Blockbuster. Okay. So Blockbuster I could hit for six. But then if I draw a twist, I'll have to KO more Jean Grey cards. And her stack is getting low. So I'm going to avoid that. I'm going to hit Chimera instead for three. Oh yeah, why did I put them there? They should be over here in my victory pile. We've got uh, Chimera. is going to go away. And that's where I'm going to stop. I'm not going to use that three attack. At least I have the spaces clear that matter. And my next turn, I've got... Alright. I have a lot of blue. I like that. Okay, now we can focus on hitting the Mastermind. He's only 8. He's going to get some more bystanders along the way, but... I've got a good strategy here. I think I can still hit him. Turn 21, Master Strike. <laughs> Alright, here we go. He's going to get a little stronger. Um, he captures a bystander. He gets one more attack. Then, each player with exactly 6 cards reveals a Covert Hero... Or discards cards equal to the number of bystanders Mr. Sinister has. I don't have any covert over here. So I have to discard just one. Which is not too bad. I'll discard an agent. I'm going to go for more attack this turn. I already have a strength card on my discard for X gene. So um, yeah, I've got another furry fury. So I don't need to discard rock slide. Okay. Right hand side has a covert, right? Yep. I reveal that I'm fine. Our mastermind is now at nine attack. And we're going to play through. There we go. So let's do this. Do I have a tech on my discard pile for Beast X Gene? This Beast X Gene? I don't. So let's do this. Let's play the sidekick first to draw two. I will draw two cards. One, two. Okay. I messed up my X Gene for the card draws, but uh, not too bad. I have calculated rage. There is, there is a chance. Let's go with um, three attack. Look at the top card of your deck. Discard or put it back. It's an agent. I will discard the agent. And we're going to go ahead and berserk whatever's here. It is Empathic Link, which I berserk for no attack. However, when a card effect causes you to discard this card, set it aside. At the end of this turn, add it to your card as an extra hand. So um, it basically teleports. So I'm going to go ahead and do the teleport effect. Teleports, essentially. 
next. to my next hand. Sweet. Three. Let's do, keep doing some berserking. Two more attack. Four, five. I berserk and then I X-Gene berserk. So here we go. I berserk a trooper for one more attack. That's six. I berserk one more time. Ooh, I get three more. Seven, eight, nine. That's enough to hit the mastermind. So without doing anything else, uh, let's hit the mastermind again for nine. I'll take this banker in a second. His tactic. Human experimentation. Mr. Sinister captures bystanders equal to the number of villains in the city. So luckily for me, I get one bystander and he just captures one. Thank goodness I cleared the city before I hit him. And it's the Opera Singer, one of the new ones. He's still at nine. I get the banker, though. The banker. I get two recruit towards the bank, which is almost enough. So let me just uh, basically give him down to three. Just in case I somehow get more, but I don't think I can. I can't draw any cards, right? I don't have any... Oh, did I did I mill any tech? Oh, I just did. So I uh, berserked a tech. So now I have X-Gene tech. So let's go ahead and play and draw some cards. One attack, X-Gene tech, draw a card. I get a shield officer. Let's go ahead and play the second one. X-Gene tech, one more attack, and I draw Mirage. Okay. Okay, so I can shatter our villain here and, and hit him, which will be fun. I've also got Mirage. Do I want to discard a card to draw one? I'm going to get three recruit this turn, which will let me get calculated to rage. So you know what? I don't want to draw a card. Do I have any, do I have, any, have Moonlight? I do have Super Moonlight, but uh, let's do this first. Let's, let's play my officer and agent for three recruit. I'll put this all this direction. Right, move everybody down so I know what I've played. Let's take the cheap calculated rage thanks to the bystander. See what comes in. Okay, we're still in moonlight. But uh, I'm just going to play Mirage for two more attack. And then I'm going to play Rock Slide. And this is the great part. We're going to go ahead and uh, shatter Blockbuster here. Which means Blockbuster's attack is now only three so we're gonna hit him for three yeah I already um, I already spent it so let's hit him yep for three he's just gone and I get a bulldozer driver when you rescue this bystander, you may move a villain to an adjacent city space. If another villain's already there, swap them. I've gone, got rid of all the villains, so this does nothing. That's okay. A clear city is nice, especially with this scheme. And Rock Slide goes away. That was a really good turn. That was fun. And I have an extra card next turn for a recruit. Thanks to the, the Berserk. One, two. Love a good discard mechanic deck. There's a lot of ways to do it. A lot of people like to use Beta Ray Bill for that. But it's a lot of fun. I wonder how the second... The second game is going to be pretty tough. This game is a very different strategy. Three, four, five, six. A lot of grays. That is true. Madame Hydras and anything with dodge would definitely help. Okay, turn 22. Let's try to end this thing soon. I've got um, three more hits on the Mastermind to do. Which, again, he's only nine attacks, so I should be able to get there. I might even get there this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I can do that without even uh, getting a wound from Boom Boom. So, let's hit him again. Turn 22, Sentinel. Okay. What should I do first? Probably Rusty Collins. Let's go. So Rusty, Fire Fist, Collins, one attack, investigate for your deck for a card that costs zero. KO it or discard it. I didn't get one. I will leave both of these on the top of my deck with the with the uh, Psychic on top. So he didn't trigger. That's okay. Uh, I did play a range, so now I can safely play Lockheed for a total of three attack. Two plus one activate him at four attack. Um, I... Uh, Already played Rusty, and Rusty, let me just, uh, pull him out here, he, uh, he has an X-Men symbol, right? 
So I can play Psychic Search now. Two more attack. And to rescue a bystander. It is standard bystander. I just need three more attack, which I can get. Hydra Soldier, one more attack. Now, boom, boom here. If I put her on top of the deck, I get plus one attack. So I'm going to have to do her boomer name to get plus three attack. I could do Meltdown, but there's not really a point. I get 11 total attack, and I'd still be short to hitting the Sentinel. So let's pick the second nickname, Boomer. I get three attack, up to 10, and she goes back to the bottom of the sidekick stack. So now let's hit the Mastermind again. Okay, Master Geneticist, reveal the top seven cards of the villain deck. Mr. Sinister captures all the bystanders you reveal, put the rest back in any a random order. All right, this might reveal one, and there's one more in there. So let's see. Let's take a look at what the next seven cards are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have no bystanders, but we have three twists in the next seven cards, which is scary. Um, we've also got Jean Grey Noir, Sneak Peek, A Master Strike, Jean Grey from X-Men First Class, and Shadow X Marvel Girl. So all three genes, well, three genes from the uh, Scott and Jean across dimensions group are in here and uh yeah Lockheed will go away I'm not done with my turn I kept them there because of this power but yeah he does go away uh yeah three twists so I gotta shuffle those all up so I know in the next seven turns I have three twists coming but if I draw the three twists first that means I have four more turns of no twists but I only have to hit him two more times and he didn't get any bystanders so he's at eight right now and we got to do the opera singer effect. So shuffling up what's left, and I'll cut it right here. Put it back. Okay. So let's finish what I'm doing. So the opera singer here. When you rescue this villain, shatter a villain in the bank, or shadow a hero in the HQ space under the bank. I mean, I might as well. I don't have an option, so I will shatter Mirage here. She just goes down to two because it rounds down. She's a cost of two now. And, yeah, Lockheed does go away. Okay. My turn's not over. I get Rally the New Mutants. I don't think I played a Covert this turn. I played all ranged, so I only do one. Even the bystanders I played were all ranged. Or the sidekicks I played were all ranged. So, let's get a sidekick. It's uh, Skids. There's a, there's a Covert sidekick. By the way, the artist, uh, Noel Lopez, just posted a... Um, a series of images on the progression of this art. Uh, Noel Lopez did all the art for Messiah Complex, so if you want to check that out, go to his Instagram. I've linked it in the Discord. It's really good art. It's amazing. All right. That's all I can do. Let's try to finish this thing strong. I can't take out the Sentinel, unfortunately, so I might have another Cyclops KO'd. But at least I'll be able to hit the Mastermind soon. Just need eight attack. Come on, come on. Give me eight attack. Ooh, I don't even have eight attack this turn. I forgot that I had all these graves. I have a lot of recruit, though. Turn 23. Okay, not a scheme to us. I got Dark Marvel Girl, who's going to be tough to take out, though. Um, ambush, she capped, she dom Oh, I didn't recruit uh, Dreams Made Real. I could have done that, too, but I didn't want it. Ambush, Dark Marvel Girl dominates each X-Men hero that costs four or less from the HQ. Okay, that's a few of them. So she's going to dominate Optic Blast Cyclops, Magic... And Mirage, which means she gets plus three attack when she dominates. So she's at seven attack. Plus, uh, yeah, she's at uh, seven, yeah, seven attack. That's not very good. The art is wonderful. The effect is not helping me right now, but I love the art. So she's at seven with all the dominated heroes. Okay, let's refill our HQ. There's a rare. There's an uncommon. There is another uncommon. So we got an expensive HQ all of a sudden, which is fine because look at all the recruit I have. Um, I've got Mirage and then three shield agents with five recruit. Let's look at Dimensional Portal. Teleport if we decide you play this turn, you get plus one attack. This is so good for the right, terrible for the left. I don't even want to take this, and I can't afford Beast here. Uh, yeah. I have some sidekicks, but right side is going to have enough recruit to get it. 
maybe. I have two two standard sidekicks, so I'll hold off. I'll hold off. I wish I could take unending energy, but it's still out of reach. All I have is three attack and, and as well. So I can hit a sentinel. Let's just do that. I'll play all three attack. I'll hit a sentinel. We'll call it a day. Sentinel's gone. And uh, I know I, I said I wanted to get these recruit cards, but I will still get rid of an ancient. Piece. Most importantly, I want to take out the mastermind. For five recruit, it is good for, for berserking, though. And I do have some sidekicks, but not that many. I have no discard pile, Mikey. Um, it's X gene, but all I have is a deck. So good, good check, but I can't. And there's no tech for me to recruit except for the rare, which I can't get. Um, since right side can get dimensional portal, I'm not going to take it here. I'm going to get... I'll get a sidekick and then maybe an officer. We'll see how I feel. Start with a sidekick for two. It is a standard. Yeah, I'll take an officer. We're, we're late in the game. But maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe I'll get one with printed attack. I didn't. That one's okay, though. It'll help me get the rear. Got yo-yo. Okay. I know I have a few scheme twists. In the next five cards, I got three scheme twists, and I have this space occupied, which is not great, but at least the Gene Grave space is empty. And I might be able to do some damage this turn, so we'll see. Do I suffer a scheme twist? I don't. It's a Master Strike. <laughs> So Sinister's going to power up a little bit. But I'm safe from this side from the Covert Trigger. He gets a standard bystander. He goes up to 9 attack. And uh, again, each player with exactly 6 cards. Actually, left side has exactly 6. I'm safe. I reveal the Covert on the right-hand side. Uh, or I have to discard cards equal to the number of bystanders. Luckily, it's just 1. So left side fails. I don't have any cards that um, work off of discarding. Hmm. I have three, six, seven, eight. I'm going to discard my agent. I'm going for attack this turn. So agent's getting discarded. Sinister goes back. And we are going to try to get a lot of attack here. Starting with sidekick. Number one. Draw two. One. Two. All right. Let's chain it. Another sidekick. Here we go. One. Two. Third sidekick. This would have been great if I had Dimensional Portal, but I don't have it. One, two. We got Prodigy, though. Ooh, we got some good stuff here. I see some good combos happening. Okay, we're going to start with Read Your Thoughts, Gene Gray. Three recruit. When you rescue a bystander, you get plus one recruit. I'll play the second one. So this is this kind of works like that example we saw before. It says whenever you rescue a bystander, you get plus one recruit. I have two of those cards. So now, whenever I rescue a bystander, I get two recruit. One for one card, one for the other. It's not them stacking, it's them each individually doing their effect at the same time. So there's a perfect example. We're at six recruit now. Potentially more. I've also got Mind Over Matter, which I could clone if I felt like it. Or copy. When you rescue a bystander this turn, draw a card. So every time I get a bystander, I get two recruit and I draw a card. Let's see if I can get a lot of them. Let me go ahead and rally the new mutants. Unfortunately, the only place that has a bystander is Mr. Sinister, so I can only get one unless, unless, unless I draw the Jean Grey that I, I don't have here, and I don't think I can do a draw. So let's, let's get in, uh, some two sidekicks first, and then we'll figure out what I'm going to copy. All right, uh, two sidekicks. We got Darwin and a standard. We've got uh, two recruit, up to eight recruit, two attack, up to six attack. Okay. I don't have enough to hit the Mastermind, so I'm going to have to copy something if I want to hit the Mastermind. So yeah, I think the best option is to copy Mind Over Matter. Because if I do copy the Mind Over Matter, I will not only get four more attack, but when I fight Mr. Sinister, I will get to draw two cards. And then maybe I'll draw into Jean Grey. That'll let me get more bystanders, draw more cards, and get through everything I have. So it depends. Uh, actually, is it in my discard? So it's in my discard, so I can't draw it. I have two cards left in my deck. So even if I hit Mr. Sinister with this copy, I'll draw these two. Unless one of these is a sidekick that lets me draw more, that's where my turn ends. I could hit Dark Marvel Girl, but I can afford to KO more Cyclops cards. I really need to hit the Mastermind. So let's go ahead and get uh, let's play a copy of Mind Over Matter. Uh, so I get four more attack. I'm a ten attack. Um, and the standing effect still happens. 
Prodigy becomes... It. Well, actually, I have to think about this. So I play Prodigy as a copy of a card, but then it goes away. So does the whenever you rescue a bystander this turn draw card effect for Prodigy stay when this card is gone? It doesn't need to be a card I have. It's just an effect that happens, right? For example, if something were to happen to Mind Over Matter before I rescued a bystander, would I still do the effect? Maybe not. The effect does stay. Yeah, I think my first instinct is card. I think it does stay. Anyway, we do it. We'll pay the copy. Uh, this goes away, but I am going to keep it here just to remind me of the effect. Uh, but Prodigy is technically not a card I have right now. Just to remind us of the effect. So let's go ahead and hit Mr. Sinister. I, I agree with you guys. Hit him for nine. And his last tactic. It's okay, Piranha. I'm doing another game, so you have a chance to do another prediction. Plans within plans. Mr. Sinister captures a bystander for each Mr. Sinister tactic in players' victory piles, including this one. All right, that's four. So he's going to end strong with four bystanders. Which would have been great to hit him with this turn, but uh, now he's at uh, 12 attack all of a sudden. And there's the four bystanders. So let's play this all out. Um, the bystander I rescued was... Where did it go? It was a standard. Oh, yeah, I rescued it. It was just a standard one. Okay, but I rescued it, so let's do the rescue effects. So first I get one recruit for each bystander I rescued. One, two. Now I do both Mind Over Matter effects. One from Jean Grey, one from the Prodigy copy I no longer have. Uh, let's go with... Uh, I get to draw two cards. Here we go. One, two. Okay, no extra card draws, unfortunately. So my turn is going to end here. But I do have another Rally of the New Mutants to gain two more sidekicks. I do have ten recruits, though. Um, we got two. Skids and Boom Boom. Followed by another operative, so I play the operative. I'm at 11 recruit. Okay, can't hit the mastermind, unfortunately. But, what can I take? I could take Dimensional Portal. This seems like a really good move. Because of all the sidekicks I have, I can get a lot of attack this way. I also have uh, the Beast Rare. Just in case, I want to take a look. Recursive Pummeling. Uh, X Gene, you may return a zero cost, three cost, and four cost card from your discard pile to your hand. That's obviously better for a card, uh, a side that's doing a lot of berserking. And this does not return uh, sidekicks, so I'll hold off on this. I'm going to go with the uh, Dimensional Portal because of all these sidekicks I have. So we'll take Dimensional Portal for five. I have six more recruit. Finally, I see determination. Where's he been? Should I take Read Your Thoughts, Jean Grey, or I could take an Unending Energy? Yeah, I'll take one over here. I don't think I'm going to get both of them on the left anyway. Plus, this gives me some solid attack to go with all the other attack I'm getting. We'll get a Cyclops. Why Why the heck not? We'll take, a, we'll take one of those. And Prodigy does go away now. We go one away before, but you know what I mean. I wish I could Excessive Bribe Sinister, but that's not going to happen. All right. Love this deck that I've built. Let's see if I draw a good hand out of it. I got a lot of cards here. And I used three of my standard sidekicks already. So not a lot of sidekicks left that just simply draw. The thing about the new mutants are... Or the young mutants are the... What are they called? The young X-Men. They're great. But they do not uh, really let you draw. Except for cards like uh, Layla Miller. But we have to shuffle that up. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, cool. This might be the game-winning hand with Dimensional Portal and a sidekick to draw more. Plus Mind Over Matter. But we'll see. Only five cards left here. This side might not do it. But um, next villain deck card is... Scheme Twist. That's one of the three we saw. Luckily, I'm safe from the Jean Grey KOs. That is twist number five. I gain the top card of either one. Top card of the Jean Grey side is the infamous Bridge to a Better Future, which is not terrible with the way the bridge is empty, but I don't want to take any more of these Jean Grey cards out of the stack because there's fewer of them, so I will take the Cyclops card instead. I will take uh, Reincarnate because I'll get to KO it anyway. So, uh, Recruit... 
And, uh, yes. I have to KO Cyclops cards now. KO two cards on the top of the Wedding Hero stack that has... Each Wedding Hero stack that has a Villain or Master Rider in the space immediately below it. So two Cyclops cards get KO'd. So two Burnouts. I wish I could do the effect, though. You may KO this card if you do get plus two attack. That doesn't work that way. Also, Rise from the Ashes would be great for this side, but I don't have that yet. Anyway, that doesn't work that way. Two of them get KO'd. So that's three Cyclops cards lost. Then... Time traveling Jean Grey moves into the rooftops. So we've got seven left in Cyclops stack, eight in the Jean Grey stack left. Let's see, can we get uh okay, how much attack do we need for Sinister? We need 12. Is it 12 right now? Can I get 12 attack? I've got three, four, seven, eight. I just need four attack from Berserks. Do I have any tech for X Gene? I do, so I can draw a card. Let's do calculated rage. Should I draw first or calculated rage first? I will look at the top card, but I'm gonna berserk it anyway. So let's do let's do the conundrum first. Alright, I have one attack. I have that tech in my discard. So I will draw blindly into Furry Fury. This might help me win the game. Do I have any strength in my discard pile? I don't. But I could take determination to do that. So let me go ahead and do calculated rage first. Four attack. Just look at the top card of your deck, discard it or put it back. Am I going to get to draw? No, I won't get to draw. So let's just berserk it. Put it back, and then we'll berserk it. So I will berserk this immediately. I'm at 7 attack. That's going to be enough. That already is enough. Let's play the shield officer. Let's go ahead and recruit determination Cyclops for 2. So now we have X-Gene strength. Ooh, and there's the rare Gene Grey I will never see. Uh, furry. Fury. 2 more attack. Berserk twice. First one. Oh, let me just let me do it this way. This is more fun. Berserk. Sidekick, nothing. Berserk again for the X gene I just got. Three more attack. Love when a Berserk deck works. I'm at 12 attack. That's enough to hit the Mastermind, but I can also... Uh, no, I can't clear the city. Uh, close to it. So we'll play everything I've got just in case. Alright, uh, three more attack. I'm at 15. X gene range. Do I have a ranged? No, I don't. Otherwise, I'd be able to... Oh, I have Yo-Yo. Return a uh, range hero from your discard pile. Oh, I re return Yo-Yo to my hand. That's funny. Okay. Yo-Yo comes back in. I didn't expect that to happen. And uh, she's not going to do anything, though. All right. 16 attack. Two recruit. I uh, can't hit Dark Marvel Girls. Let's just go ahead and hit Mr. Sinister for the last time. Let's get that VP. I've got four bystanders, and I get a sidekick. So, just for fun, I'll take a sidekick from rescuing the bystander. It's a standard sidekick. And no more tactics left means that he's gone, and we saved the wedding. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult of a game, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, Cyclops, Beast, and uh, and Mirage are so much fun. Uh, right side would have been better with Jean Grey if I had gotten more biased inner cards early, but still good. Yeah, very fun setup. Micro Disney, uh, if you're watching this later, thank you for submitting this. I will submit his whole setup later, including all the villains in the villain group. Let me show you. if I So we had Dark Marvel Girl. Who else was from that villain group in here? Ooh, two twists in the bottom. Yeah, exactly, Ashley. I'll tell you exactly what those are. So the ones that we saw, let me count my VP and I'll tell you what they are. And then we'll move on to Avatar setup today. So VP on the left were uh, was, any guesses before I do this? Mute the stream if you don't want to know yet. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, uh, 21, 22, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, uh, 38, 39, 43 on the left. Right hand side got uh, 6, 7, 8, 14, 15, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25, 26. 43, 26. Pretty good. Avatar, Avatar, you told me to only use standard cards. So did you want me to use special ones? That's what you said in your setup, so... 
Whatever you want, you can change it. Hey! A.S. Miller with a gifted sub. Thank you so much for that. Wow, five community subs. I just saw them all come in. Thank you very much for the very generous five community subs, uh, A.S. Miller. One of our mods. <laughs> I really appreciate that. That's super nice of you. You just took down Mr. Draft's HP at a big peg, so. Oh, uh, the older. Well, that, that's the only one with this setup. Did you submit this twice? I only saw the one. Uh, very cool. Those are coming in. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the villains for that group since uh, Ashy asked so nicely. So we've got Inferno Cyclops. Okay. So let me know if you want me to change that. We've got uh, Inferno Cyclops, the corrupted clone of Jean Grey tactic from Madeline Pryor. We have, of course, the hero we gained, right? So where is that one? Dark Cyclops, Shadow X. <laughs> yeah, you did well. Good job. And we've got Dark Marvel Girl, of course. And then where's the rest of the villain deck? Where did I put that thing? Oh, here we go. The rest of them in the villain deck were... Scott Cyclops Summers from Noir. Let me get rid of the turn count. We've also got uh, Jean Grey Noir from Noir. We've got uh, dot 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 Cyclops from X Men First Class, and then finally it's a uh, Jean Grey from X Men First Class. So here are the eight, four, five, six, seven, and we'll just clear this. And the eighth one is up here. So I can actually do this. Let's put the Jean Greys up here. Four Jeans Gray. And four Cyclopses. So if you want to build this setup, and I'll, again, I'll post this later. These are... Let me just make a match. It's going to bother me if I don't. These are the eight villains villains for the Cyclops and Jean Gray group. Uh, I would count the Corrupted Clone of Jean Gray as a villain who just has a 10 attack and the fight effect you see here. And it's pretty fun to use all, all eight of these together, so I recommend it. Okay, thank you guys for watching this. I appreciate you guys. We're going to do another setup, but if you're watching this online, I will see you later, and uh, take care.